on the phone with the big fighter, Mike Malo, and I am super jacked up to get going. How about you, Mikey? I mean, it's going to be hard not to launch and start casting right when we get there. <laughs> I know. I told Pete, I says, Mike's going to be like, he's going to not even be able to let me set the cameras up. He's going to be so jacked up. That's really You'll be ready to go. We'll be getting to go. I'm excited. We're going to have fun. We are back at Rusty's going fishing tomorrow. We were only gone for about four days. I'm going to go upstairs here. We got there is the main man right at the top of the hill here. Look at Looks pretty What's like that? he's in a good mood. He's got a drink in his hand. <laughs> Rusty. Can you hear him okay? He's talking on the phone. He's talking on the phone. Of course, imagine that. Film the deer. <laughs> yeah, that's up. Thank, thank you for breakfast. Yes, he's got a good old breakfast going here. Breakfast. Mike's already loaded up. Breakfast ready champions. to go today. That's it, buddy. Pete's over there. Oh, he's getting his uh, main event ready. <laughs> I'm still, <laughs> I'm still drinking coffee, but I'm getting fired up here. If we, we could take a chicken with us today. I think we should. Chickens are good luck. Hey, speaking of that, and did you guys ever see that muskie eats chicken video? Yeah, I've seen the muskie eat the chicken video. Yeah, like the store bought chicken in a box. Yes. The yeah. Muskie, it was on Leech Lake. Yeah. Do you know who that guy was that was casting it? No, I don't. That was Richie Casillas. That's the guy that got me started musky fishing. He's from, she's a good friend of mine from Chicago. Oh, I started boxing when I was a kid. Swan, a lot of wildlife moving all of a sudden. <laughs> That's because you're chasing them. <laughs> I don't know if that comes. <laughs> that, one, that one there runs like Rusty. <laughs> I can just, I can visualize right now the crunch right behind the head, over the top of the back. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna try and catch a fish today. Yeah, actually, the uh, we we filmed here a week ago. And, uh, oh, okay with Gillespie. Oh. And that'll be, that'll be airing uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. I love it, dude. The most crazy, the kind of emotion is a freaking stupid You know what I mean? It's crazy. That musky fish can really help you walk away from boxing. I don't know what I, I don't know, man. It fills that void, you know? That, com that competitive void. You're not competing with people, but you're competing against these fish, you know what I mean? It's like a war of attrition, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the grind and like the pain in your hands all the sacrifice you make to do this shit. Drive it 10 hours. <laughs> it's the truth, man. Oh, yeah. That's why it, at times I think we're so damn stupid. Yeah, but it's a good one. No way. <laughs> all of the pain and suffering. Yeah. <laughs> this shit hurts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you oh. More fishy. It 
looked like he was gonna do it there for a second. God, poor pink fish, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Why won't they eat? Oh, that one was gonna eat, I think, if I could have had he peeled there. Came a little close. He just something he didn't like the way I wish I could have brought it the other way. Something spooked him. Something spooked him. Big Mike and I are pretty fortunate we get to fish with Pete. He's been fishing this water for 20 years, uh, Mike. 20 years of experience over that, right? More? Yeah, actually 30. I hate to say it, but yeah. 30 years. <laughs> Thanks for having me in your boat as well, Pete. Thank you. Oh, you bet. Mike's, Mike's got some ADD kicking in. He's yeah. really worked up right now. He said he, he said he wants to use 10 lures at once. <laughs> yes, I wish I had six arms. Day one, Peter. What was the whole deal today? Give us it. <laughs> the whole deal was uh, two extremely tight windows. And with one window in particular, the fish were fairly hot, but just happens fast. And for the most part, it's just been a struggle. Fish are down. We know we got some fish on spots. We're actually on one of the spots that we've seen the most fish today right now at last light, and so far nothing. So still hoping with this light change, maybe we get a hit here, but it's really been weird. Tight, tight windows and for the most part, nothing going on. Today is day two. It is a much different day out here. Yeah. Yeah. We got some clouds in the sky. Everything we wish we had yesterday. <laughs> wish we had it yesterday, but we got it today. So today is going to be the day. We're going to nail them. Today is a beautiful day. are picking up reinforcements. In Good the, luck charm is what I call it. Yes, in the form of the big Swede. Many years of experience. Kind of a little fella. Shallowest rock there are about three. Most of them are four or five. There's another one coming, yeah. sweet. Another one coming? Yeah. Gosh, I need to go start with there. Get in the rocks, but I would. Oh, there. Oh. He's on it. He's on it. Keep it going. Oh, he wants it. I didn't feel any weight. I three fish deep carpet. 20 minutes. I, there was no jerk on the line. Oh, at all. I know there was no jerk on the line. I set the hook when I saw the mouth flare, but he didn't. Uh, never, didn't have any against the grain. I, I didn't have a chance. I was going left. Couldn't go right. And that was a surprise deal, I'll tell you. 
do we got here? Feels pretty good. We decided to drag a little sucker around and we were just complaining here about how nothing's really happening. Tangled up in the net here. Could be that uh, utility box we got for a. Oh, it's a good one, too. Look at him. Oh, yeah. That's, that was Sweet's fish. Yeah, it looks like the same thing. <laughs> it does. What do you mean, the one Sweet had? Yeah, it looks pretty well the same size. Sweet, move that net for a second. You tell me when you're ready, Peter. Well, he's not quite ready. Should be able to get him here shortly. Nice oh, fish. Nicely done. Well, that was a good surprise. <laughs> well done, Swede. Now we just wonder he had a he had a boat side activity here on a head hunter. About a little the same while size ago. fish. About the same size fish. So. But that was cool. Now here's what I have to admit that I don't want to admit. I had just checked the sucker before and I left that rod engaged. That fish literally set the hook set, on itself. Set itself. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden the rod was bent over. So it's a great hook set by me. You should really watch my technique. Uh, Well, this was an exciting one in that we decided we got rusty along, so we were able to run a sucker here today. And we were feeling kind of silly about that because nothing was happening on it, and we'd seen a bunch of fish. I want to get them back. Let that guy go. Ooh, he's just ready to go. But anyway, uh, yeah, that was the third fish you raised. So we, we knew there was fish on the spot, and nothing's going on with the sucker. And and all of a sudden, bang, so. It's one of those things this time of the year, it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt to run them, especially on a windy day. If they're really going on lures, best thing to do is just keep going with lures, but it's a little something extra, and once in a while it pulls one out, like it just did. That was fun. Brought the lure up and around, so it was not as deep as I'd had it down there. I've had that work if you keep going around and around and make a long, big sweep like that and bring it up towards the surface. He didn't get a good grip on it. I, I never did feel any weight ever. The only reason I set the hook is I, you know. Oh, there's one literally swimming right there. Just really? come, come swimming in, I think. On my last cast or just swimming? No, he's, well, he, oh, I don't know. I, oh, there he is. I thought it was a tail. He didn't look too bad. He's about about the same as the one I just caught. What are you throwing? That savage. I've never seen anybody work like this guy though, but we had uh, we had a couple of days or, or two and a half days of fishing and we saw some amazing windows of activity, very tight. First day they were on the moon, next day it didn't really matter, but the windows were super tight, right? Yeah, so. yeah they, they were moving when they moved, but the windows were small. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. So we only ended up with one fish, some exciting stuff, some follows. One getaway, yeah. but you know what I did wrong with this guy, you know? This guy has an amazing boxing career, and I really think I messed up by, I never really tried to stare down with you. <laughs> now you guys have that thing, right, where, you know, before yeah. the fight, yeah. Sure can, can you like, give me your best? <laughs> now see, if I would have done that right away, we'd have done better, but there will be a next time, because yeah, I enjoyed sure. it, man. It was a pleasure. Yeah, you bet, brother.